Shalom, shalom. First of all, all praises, glory and honour goes to Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honour, of course, is extended unto the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, who continue to rule well and teach Yahshua Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Blessing, citations and honour goes to the brothers, pushing this gospel in sincerity and in truth the world over, risking the life for Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai sake. Adawan Ratazah, which means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Yeah, man, so came across this article and I wanted to just do a quick uh, news update on it through the spirit, man. Quick report. So this is from the economictimes.com, all right? Very recent article, okay? 21st of August, 2023, the hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass. And as you can see, man, as Cuba takes leap, leap towards cashless economy, entrepreneurs brace for impact. So you can see where we're heading, man. Right, because all roads lead to the MOTB, the mark of the beast, man. Revelation chapter 13, verse 16 on down, okay, which is the uh, <coughs> implantable RFID micro C hip, okay. So the article says when Cuba in early August announced it was taking a major step towards it, electronic banking and an open quote cashless end quote society, the offices of fledgling small businesses across the communist run country were left scrambling to figure out how to respond. Most alarming to pay buddy entrepreneurs was a new five thousand peso which is twenty dollars cap on cash withdrawals for businesses one of several measures for the government okay that said they were aimed at forcing cubans to do their transactions electronically via transfer online payment and bank cards and over here in the uk man they're shutting down a lot of bank branches okay all right because they'd rather you you know you bank online okay so yeah, again we can see where all this is heading man you know now people you so-called negroes latinos and native americans and your israelite foreigners scattered around the world you speckled bird all right, mingled amongst these other nations, you know, the majority of our people, man, they're going to be test subjects, ultimately for this, for the implantable sea hit, man, and this is the beginning of, you know, of this playing out, these are the beginning phases of that, many countries have their CBDCs in place, which stands for Central Bank Digital Currencies, all right, and again, cash is being banned everywhere, man, everywhere you go, shops, all right, are denying uh, cash forms of payment, banks nowadays are paying interest rates for you to you know, to uh, to basically deposit cash into the into the banks because they themselves don't have cash. You know, like five percent, six percent interest rates, things like that. All right, the money really isn't there. Okay, it's just figures. All right, because real money is wealth, silver, gold, resources, cattle, slaves, land, livestock. All right, that's true wealth. Okay, this is just fiat currency. All right. So this is this is gonna collapse this economy. It's all gonna collapse. Just look up fractional reserve banking, man. All right, and this is a you know a major move. It says the changes were needed to stem a cash shortage. Cuban central bank office officials said, as the fast falling peso and soaring consumer prices combined to drain bank reserves and ATM machines. All right, but concerns over their impact are already causing difficulties. Said Julieta. Hernandez, founder and manager of Pilares Construction, a private Havana-based builder that employs 60 people. We understand there is a crisis and the need for banking, but this is our money, Hernandez said. Her business has already adopted electronic banking, but she often needs quick access to, to cash to pay for emergencies on job sites, she added. Even before the new restrictions, Cuban entrepreneurs face what might seem insurmountable, hurtless anywhere else, or hurtles, sorry, anywhere else. Spotty electricity and internet, widespread fuel shortages and no practical way to legally exchange large amounts of local currency into the dollars needed to import merchandise from abroad. Yeah man, from abroad man. So, see where we're heading man, okay. Of course we'll get, <coughs> get the scriptures. Alright. Because... <coughs> You know, everything is being is moving to that digital side, every aspect in every industry, man. It's becoming more digital. Revelation 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a karagma in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell unless he has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? And, uh, you know, we've broken this down many, many times, man. Okay? You know, it's the implantable device, okay? And this is a worldwide prophecy, all right? So it's not just for the Western powers, all right? You can see that they're moving past these bank cards and these credit cards, these debit cards, 
all right? Of course, they're moving away from cash, all right? Okay, and things are going to be stored. Your information is going to be stored in that C hip, man. Whenever they want access to the information, it will all, it'll all be on the C hip, coupled with the digital ID wallet and yeah, your digital ID and your digital wallet, man. They'll have all your, your information, man. Tracking purposes too. That's what they want it for too. Okay, what you spent your money, where you spent it. All right, medical information, criminal history, personal information, you name it. All right. See, so we all know where this is heading, man. All right. And even if you do this for a minute, for example. Watch this. Even just searching cashless. It's constant news updates. Watch this. No app, no entry. How the digital world is failing the non-tech savvy. The Guardian, Daily Mail. The Kardashian's favourite salad chain health nut goes cashless following recent string of thefts. See? Foreign visitors to China can finally go cashless like locals. Alright, and these are all recent news articles. Alright. But we know that the elect of the nation of Israel, right, they ain't gonna be deceived by this and they and they will turn back to Yahabashi Mashai. Alright. But the majority of our people in Babylon the Great for two thirds. <laughs> right? They when you know <laughs> when destruction comes then, you know, two thirds are, are doomed really. Alright, and if you take this device, you can't repent. So with that, I'm going to say, uh, yeah, shalom.